Toxic heavy metals have been found in 95% of baby foods sold in America. We're talking about lead, arsenic, mercury, all going down the throats of babies. A warning now to parents of infants and toddlers. Manufacturers selling baby food with, with high levels of toxic heavy metals. They should not have heavy elements or heavy metals in their food, particular, particularly for their children. Let me explain. So you're a big food conglomerate and you want to make the most money possible. And the best way to do that is by using cheaper ingredients in your food products. The problem is that if you use cheaper ingredients in adult food products, adults will be able to tell. They have developed pellets. It will taste worse to them and they will stop buying. Just one simple change like swapping out milk for soy and suddenly your best selling product becomes a thing of the past. Adults are picky eaters. This is not ideal. But you know who aren't picky eaters? Infants. And that is where baby food comes in. Think about it, babies can't talk, and they don't get to choose what they eat every day. Eat, 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 eat. Making them your perfect customer. You can use the cheapest ingredients out there, ingredients that may contain toxic heavy metals, and infants will never be able to tell the difference. All you gotta do is create a baby food brand that parents trust. Once you have that, you are golden. You can then downgrade the quality of your baby food over time, theoretically of course, making you more money, and no one will ever notice because it's baby food. It's supposed to taste weird, right? And if cutting so many corners leaves behind deadly heavy metals in almost every major baby food product across America? More than 100 baby food products were tested, and some of the results may be a little alarming for parents. Yeah, 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 I know it sounds bad, but a few toxic metals here and there never hurt anyone, right? The toxins can be particularly dangerous. Too much exposure to these particular heavy metals can lead to, to lower IQ, behavioral issues, even been linked to autism and ADHD. Even in trace amounts, those chemicals are linked to impaired brain development. This is why baby food is the perfect market segment to sell to. There are always more babies being born, they need a lot of food, and parents are too lazy to make baby food from scratch, which makes processed baby food a staple in every family pantry, just like coffee, water, or cereal. People need to buy it no matter what, even if there's toxic metals in them. Stay dangerous and this is the evil business of baby food. If you watch this channel, you're probably an ambitious person with a lot going on in your life that you need to organize. That's why you gotta check out Notion, a free productivity app to replace all your other productivity apps. Notion is so powerful and will make your life so much easier that I just moved our entire team onto it. And trust me, I've tried all the other productivity apps out there and nothing compares to Notion. It is by far the best for most people, which I know is pretty bold to say. What I love about Notion is that you can use it for something as simple as a notebook to take notes in or as a basic to-do list, or you can scale it up and use it to manage an entire company like these companies use it for. That's because Notion has this seamless combination of beautifully formatted docs, tables which are kind of like spreadsheets but way more powerful because you can view them in a calendar view, Kanban view, you can link to your databases on other pages, and you can organize all of this for an entire team to use. This allows you to customize Notion for whatever you're looking for. Like this beautiful financial tracker Notion template made by my friend Humphrey Yang that you can get for free right now. Or this social media planner template made by the Notion team that they actually use to draft, plan, and write all their social media posts that you can also get for free right now. Seriously, do not sleep on Notion. Pause the video and sign up for free right now with the link below because you will not regret it. Again, sign up for free with the link below and thanks to Notion for sponsoring this video. Look, as a big food conglomerate, you definitely aren't putting arsenic and lead in baby food on purpose. That would be crazy. You would never do that. That's a class action lawsuit just waiting to happen. Toxic metals in baby food is just a byproduct of you using cheap ingredients, like rice, rice cereal, carrots, and sweet potatoes. These cheap ingredients usually grow in the ground. Heavy metals naturally occur in the ground, in the water and soil, so you end up with toxic metals in the most popular ingredients used to make baby food. Turbers, sweet potatoes, and corn. Show of hands. <laughs> You didn't know that using cheaper ingredients has a higher risk of feeding babies toxic metals. No way. We could never assume that. You're just trying to save money to make baby food more affordable to struggling families. It definitely has nothing to do with your bottom line. Just look at rice, for example. Rice is one of the most lucrative and reliable food products you could ever have invested in. 
In 2022, inflation rose at record-breaking rates and almost everyone felt the ripple effects, even major food conglomerates. The price of almost everything skyrocketed. Wheat, palm oil, soybeans. It all got ridiculously expensive in just a matter of a few months. That's really bad for business. Higher prices cut into your profits. Profit margins on food are already slim enough. A tiny change in the prices of your ingredients and you could go from making a billion dollars one day to less than 500 million the next. But throughout all of this inflation, one crop was not affected. One crop even dropped in price. And that one crop is rice. So investing in rice-based food products meant that while food prices for healthy stuff, like fruits and vegetables, were spiraling out of control, your products would remain the reliable, cheap alternative. Poor people all around the world would still be able to buy your products for their kids, taking market share from the more healthy alternatives. That kind of insurance is worth a tiny dash of heavy metals, wouldn't you agree? It's why rice is so popular in food products, including baby food. However, as a big food conglomerate, it's kind of hard just to start a great baby food brand that parents trust right off the bat. A great brand that customers trust takes a lot of time and work to build. But lucky for you, there are lots of hardworking, legit baby food brands out there who have already put in the effort into building a great baby food brand. They've done all the organic, expensive nonsense for you already to build a brand that parents can trust. All you have to do is wave some cash in front of their face, and their priceless brand will be all yours. Simply swoop in, throw a few million dollars in the face of these brands, and then boom! Now you're free to take over the operations and do things your way. The cheap, profitable way. And the great thing is, you can do this without the parents ever even realizing the baby food brand they know and love ever changed hands at all. It's almost too easy. So easy, in fact, that this is the case for almost every baby food brand on American shelves right now. Gerber is owned by everyone's favorite food company, Nestle. Beechnut is owned by a Swiss conglomerate, Hero Group. Plum Organics is owned by sun-made growers of California who bought it from the Campbell Soup Company. Yes, even the ones with organic and natural attached to their name, they've all been acquired. Walk down the baby food aisle of any grocery store in America and you'll find that almost every single one of those brands is owned by some giant, faceless, big food conglomerate. And almost all of them contain juicy, delicious, and profitable toxic heavy metals. And the best part is that no one can do anything about it. Even now, with it being public knowledge that these baby products contain toxic metals that babies around the country are consuming, we are still in business. Not even the FDA can stop us. When you hear the title United States Food and Drug Administration, you probably think that such a big, official institution is obviously out there doing God's work in the interest of the public, right? The FDA is supposed to be America's go-to organization for wrangling in greedy corporations to make sure what we put in our bodies is safe. It is the federal agency in charge of regulating food, after all. The one that's supposed to be holding billion-dollar companies accountable so they don't poison the entire population? But you'd be wrong. Because the truth is the FDA actually works with big food. They set limits for just how much bad stuff you can have in our baby food and get away with it. Carefully thought out limits that still allow us to profit. Like with rice cereal for babies. Only 100 parts per billion of arsenic in that. And it makes everyone feel like that's how much arsenic people can ingest without it being bad for you. But in reality, it's how much the FDA lets us get away with. And most of the time, the limits don't even matter. 
Take Walmart as an example. When they were getting looked at for having too much arsenic in their baby food according to their company's own internal standards, they just arbitrarily changed the rule to allow four times more arsenic in their baby products without offering any justification for it. The FDA isn't keeping you in check. More often than not, you're the one calling the shots. Look at the facts. Even when we do end up with more bad stuff in our baby food than the FDA allows, like how the top baby food brands in America right now have more arsenic, lead, and cadmium than the FDA says is safe, nobody is coming for us. Why? Because we know the right people in the right places. Owning a big company doesn't just mean that you make a lot of money. It also gives you the leverage to set up the rules the way you want them. Some major companies have as much power as a small country. Take Danone, for example. They're one of the most massive megacorporations in the world with over $25 billion in revenue. About a decade ago, Danone bought a baby food brand called Happy Family. With one of the world's top infant food brands in their pocket, they wanted more leeway on the rules surrounding the baby food market. I mean, why must we have so many pesky regulations on the food we're giving the most vulnerable people in the population? So they spent hundreds of thousands of dollars lobbying against policies that could potentially get in their way. And in the end, they tried blocking three acts that could have made baby food regulations stricter. And all the other giant conglomerates that control the world's baby food? You can bet they're all playing the exact same game. When news broke that multiple toxic heavy metals were found in 94% of tested baby food, these corporations knew they had to act. Obviously, we didn't really care that our products were poisoning children. We just had to make it seem like we care. Enter Closer to Zero, our handy way of getting the public off our back for the foreseeable future. The FDA proposed Closer to Zero as an action plan in response to the heavy metal findings. Its purpose is ambiguous. According to the FDA, closer to zero, quote, identifies actions the agency will take to reduce exposure to arsenic, lead, cadmium, and mercury from foods eaten by babies and young children to as low as possible, end quote. And, quote, our work, combined with that of our stakeholders, has led to meaningful reductions in exposure to toxic elements, end quote. If you kinda just blanked out as we read that out loud to you, that's okay, because we did too. The wording is almost strategic. The plan identifies actions that the agency will take, but no mention of when they'll take action. They aim to keep exposure to toxic metals in baby food as low as possible, but they avoid mentioning any specific numbers. Our work has led to meaningful reductions without any actual information on how things changed. Basically, it was a message telling the public, everyone calm down, we're doing stuff. Now go back to feeding your kids arsenic crackers. You know we live in a pretty gray world when even baby food isn't safe from greedy companies. But the baby food industry is far from the only disturbing industry in the United States. Take the lingerie industry, for instance, specifically, Victoria's Secret. For decades, it's been the most successful lingerie brand in the world. They made billions from marketing their angels to the public. Beautiful, young lingerie models dressed as angels. But behind the scenes, things were much darker. See, the company's CEO had very close ties to everyone's favorite private island owner, Efri Jepstein. And it's something the company would rather you not know about but a public video on this would probably get demonetized on YouTube. So that's why we released the Victoria's Secret Epstein connection as a private documentary that's only available for members of this channel. And you can watch it right now by clicking the join button below. Once you join, you'll also get instant access to our other private documentaries ranging from CIA black sites to MKUltra to the Bin Laden papers and much more. Look. 
You can spend tens of thousands of dollars attending university and leave not knowing anything about how the world really works. Or you could become a member and get access to all this insider info for just $5 a month. And trust us, it's way more interesting than in university lectures. And there's a refund policy too, unlike most YouTube memberships. So if you join and you don't think it's worth it, email us within your first month of joining for the first time and we will personally refund you for your first month. After your first month, there is no refund. Click that join button right now. Hope you guys enjoyed the video today and if you're new here, this is the channel you go to learn how the world works and to learn everything that they wouldn't teach you in school because there are many things that they didn't teach you in school. So if you enjoyed this video, we make multiple videos just like this one every single week for free. So make sure you click the subscribe button below and remember you can always dislike, unsubscribe, and leave me your best hate comments whenever you want. So you have nothing to lose and everything to gain. You can follow me on Instagram at Jake Tran, but that is going to wrap it up. Thanks for being part of the Watch the End Club. Stay dangerous out there and I will see you guys in the next one.